Imagine you need to create a WordPress website to promote these products, a fruit juice, and your whole team is just you. And the only thing you have to start with is one image. Would you take up the challenge, young Padawan? And no, something like this is not acceptable in this day and age. Well, in this video, I will show you how with just one image, I created this website hero section with a beautiful video that shows our Jews in different locations. And I did the whole thing without leaving my chair. Yeah. Hello, I'm Kay from Brainstorm Force. And before creating videos here on YouTube, I used to run my own web design studio for years as well as a video production company. So I know what creating a product video like this would mean in terms of time spent and money spent. And if we talk in dollars, we would easily be in the five figures range, but times have changed. So let me save you a few thousands or tens of thousands of dollars and show you my process step by step. Now, disclaimer. Number one, nothing beats professionals, but not everybody has the budget for it. And number two, all roads lead to Rome and many tools can achieve what I'm about to show you with different levels of success, of course, except for one tool that has a pretty cool feature that makes the magic happen just like this. However, when there are alternatives, I will point it out and no, this video is not sponsored. Okay, step one, before getting started, think about the end product. That is the foundation for your project. In my case, I knew I wanted a bottle rotating on itself via a circular platform. Next, step two. So step two is to source a high resolution image of your product and an isolated version, which we will need later. By isolated, I mean no other items in the shop. Now, in real life, you would either get it from a client if you're making the website for a client, or if it's for you, you would get it from a professional photographer, or you would do it yourself if you know how to do it. And of course, if you're not subscribed, are you serious? Come on, it's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. Now, if you don't have a product yet and you just want to generate it for testing purposes, let me show you how I did this one. So basically I went to me journey to generate an image with this prompt here. And I ended up with this one. Next, I opened Photoshop and use generative fill. I had this prompt, line our brain juice logo, and just started generating. I got a few results and ended up mixing this image with this image. And finally, I added my new logo to the bottle image. And this is the image I will be starting from, but it's better if you can remove the background. So for that, I'm just going to collapse here my folder. I'm going to duplicate it, then right click merge group. And actually, let me toggle the visibility on the folder so you can see the effect. And now here with my new layer selected, I'm just going to hit remove background here in the toolbar and voila, AI magic. Next, I'm going to save my file as a transparent PNG. Just hit save and save it on your computer. Now, an alternative would be to use an online tool called Quen, which at the time of recording is still free. So here I just prompted this. And after a few seconds, this is what I got. Of course, you can always fine tune it. And at the time of recording this video, a new Google tool nicknamed Nano Banana is taking the AI generative world by storm. So you may want to take a look at this. And if you're looking for a Photoshop clone that you can access online for free, minus the generative AI capabilities, of course, then you can go to photop.com. Next, step three, we need to generate the first frame for a future video. So once again, I went to Mid Journey, used this prompt. As you can see, I got a few options and eventually I ended up with this one right here. Next, to expand the image, I could have used Mid Journey. They have a similar tool, but personally, I prefer Photoshop. So I went to Photoshop, started with this image. Then with generative image, I added the rest of the background. And then I removed the bottle because as you can see, that bottle, the logo is completely changed. It's not that great. So basically, I removed it. Still with generative imagery. All right, it's taking shape. Next, I added our bottle. 
And finally, I place the bottle on the right hand side because I already know that on the final website, I want to add some text on the left hand side. Now, once again, if you want a free online alternative, at least at the time of recording this video, you could use a tool such as Quen. Okay, next, step four. And in step four, we want to generate our master video. And preferably, we want a loop video. So for this, once again, I use Me Journey, but with various results. I wasn't really satisfied. So I tried in another tool called Runway and the result was much better. Now I must mention that somewhere in the process, the logo got somewhat degraded, but it is fixable. It just takes more prompting and iterations, thus more patience. But for the sake of this video, I just went with that version. Now a completely free alternative, if your computer can handle it, would be Comfy UI or WAN. WAN? WAN. Now bear in mind, many online video generators also offer limited free credits daily. For example, Google's VO3 or the Chinese Kling AI or Hailuo AI. Ni hao, wo hui shua idr putong kwa. And no, it's not AI. Hui. Next, step five. It's now time to alter our master video. And for that, once again, I use the tool called Runway, and this is where the magic happens. So you have some kind of chat mode, which is very neat. You talk with the AI, and basically I ask the AI, can you replace the background of the master image with a snowy landscape in Utah? And this is what I got. Amazing, right? Now, at the present time, it only works for a maximum of five seconds, but I know Runway, and over time, they come with new versions that can extend the time of the effects. So I wouldn't be surprised to get it from 10 to 30 seconds in the future. So I use the same process to generate different videos in various locations. And just for fun, I asked the AI, can you actually change the angle of this video? Which it did, as you can see here. I mean, this is purely amazing. And then I asked it to change the color of the liquid in the bottle. And like this, it was done. So this magical feature from Runway is called Aleph and it's pretty unique. Actually, the only other tool I've heard can do the same thing, but I haven't tested it personally, is one from the version 2.2. And once again, if your computer can handle it, it's free. So before we export our video, we want to upscale it. And here in Runway, we can do it. We just click here on upscale to 4K and voila. But if you're not using Runway, Topaz Labs has some upscaling software. And if you want a free alternative for upscaling, you can always try CapCut. Next, step six, let's optimize our videos. Now you can upload the videos as they are, but in my case, I decided to edit it. So what I did is that I put all my clips on a timeline and then I cut it so that each clip is seen for one second. And this gives that effect that we are looking for. And after that, I created a vertical version of it for tablet and mobile. Now, free alternatives to Final Cut Pro are DaVinci Resolve and once again, CapCut. Next, you don't have to, but we can optimize our videos. So for that, I'm using a free tool called Handbrake. Once installed, all you need to do is select your target video, click open, then you can change the settings like dimensions, video, audio, and so on. In my case, I saved a preset, so I use my preset, select where you want it to be saved on your hard drive, hit choose, and then just click on start. And voila, in this case, it only took like three seconds. And if we compare, this is the original 2.3 megabytes, and this is the optimized version, 267 kilobytes, almost 10 times less. Next, step seven. Now it's time to upload our video online. So you can upload it to free platforms like YouTube or Vimeo, but in my case, I'm just going to upload it to my WordPress website. So I've uploaded all my clips right here in the media library. Next, step eight. Let's add our video to our homepage. So I just go to pages, add page. Let's call it my home. Then hit publish and publish one more time. And then click on edit with Elementor. Next, let me click on the Astra logo here, general settings, and I'm going to hide the title. Then let me collapse this, go to Astra settings, make sure it's set to full width, then scroll down and where you see transparent header, click on enabled and let's hit preview changes. Now I'm using Elementor here, but it's exactly the same principle if you're using the Spectra Builder. So I'm just gonna click on the plus sign here to add a Flexbox container. I'm actually gonna pick this structure. Then in layouts, I'm gonna select full width. Width should be set to VW and the value should be 100. And for the heights, set the unit to VH and once again, the value to 100. 
Next, go to Style, and in Background, click on the video icon, and here we can paste our video link. In my case, I'm just gonna go back to the media library, open my video, and copy the URL. But if you're using YouTube or Vimeo, just copy the link from there. Then let's go back in Elementor. I'm gonna paste my video link, and voila. And now if you go to the front end, we have a stunning hero section. And bear in mind, all of that came from one image. Awesome. Next, I added some text and a button. And now I'm going to double click on container here and just change it to main container. So let me collapse this, then go to advanced, scroll down to responsive, and I want to hide it on tablet and mobile. You'll see why in a moment. Next, let me duplicate this container. Then click on the first one, actually double click, and I'm gonna add M for mobile and T for tablet. So with this container selected, I'm going to advanced, scroll down to responsive, and this time I wanna hide on desktop and show on tablet and mobile. Actually, let me go into tablet mode. So this is what we have right now. So we wanna change this with the vertical version. So for me, I'm just gonna go back to the media library, select my vertical version and copy the URL. Then let me go back to Elementor with my container selected, style, and where I see video link, I'm going to replace the link by this one. And now it's looking good. Now one more tweak to make it look better. So I'm just going to remove our second container here. Then I'm gonna change the width of this container and voila, hit publish. And now if we go to the front end, we have a beautiful tablet version as well as a gorgeous mobile version. So how about we spice things up? So look at this. I'm on my website, but now as I scroll up and down with my mouse or trackpad, as you can see, it's scrolling to a new slide and we have individual clips on each slide. We can play with it like here, you want it? I know you do. And here, tempted, huh? Stop resisting and it's getting hot. And actually, yeah. It is getting hot in here. And if you want to know how to achieve this horizontal scrolling effect on WordPress for free, take a look at this video tutorial next. And of course, you'll find the link in the description below. You're welcome. And actually, yeah, it is getting hot in here. Would you take up the challenge, young Padawan? And actually, yeah, it is getting hot in here. Would you take up the challenge, young Padawan?